Could Mike Williams really make it back for week one? Well, hello, Jets fans. Here we are again with some exciting news, potentially. We still are waiting on one guy, but it looks like we may be getting another guy. That's exciting stuff. Before we get into it, take a second, smash that damn like button, the old milk thumbs, and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. That is greatly appreciated, and thanks to all who've done it already. Uh, you're just the cat's meow, I gotta say. So we're reading today that uh, free agent wide receiver, the uh, a quite talented, a very jumpy, handsy fella named Mike Williams, uh, about six foot four, just about 220 pounds. Before you tell me, I'm well aware I have spots on here. I was coming out, I just spilt it, I said, ah. So here I am. I regret it already, but there it is. So you don't have to tell me in the comments. Hey, Bean, you got shit all over your shirt. I know, I know, I know. So getting Mike Williams back. You know, we talked about this. We were kind of unsure if he'd make it back for week one. Now we still have uh, the Giants game preseason, and then we have the week between that and the uh, regular season. We don't know for sure, but... The good news is Mike Williams seemingly coming back. Ooh, that would give him two solid weeks of practice with Aaron Rodgers alongside Garrett Wilson, kind of feel him out in the offense, all that stuff, get his get his game leg, you know, his game legs underneath him. Now, what that means for his role who knows maybe he's just a very very effective decoy for a little while just run straight down the field you're going to pull some coverages away from where we want to get the ball uh whether it's garrett wilson Brees hall conklin malachi corley lazard whoever it might be just take a cornerback and a safety with you and just go down the field baby and who knows maybe if he gets wide open or something they throw in the ball but it could, it could also mean that he's going to get back in and he doesn't look quite there yet and, and, and they, uh, you know, they need to wait a week or two. But whatever it is, it's good that it's happening in training camp. Now, look, guys, we saw this with Brees Hall last year. Remember, we were also kind of on board with the idea of bringing on Dalvin Cook. Why? Because Brees Hall was arguably not going to be ready for week one. And we saw the first play from scrimmage. He pops it off in the Buffalo game for 20 yards on the left side. Then he breaks one later in the game and he runs out of gas. He still had to get ready, but boy, oh boy, did he look good. He still had to kind of get his lungs in there, you know, but maybe that's what we'll see with Mike Williams, kind of a slow roll, but no matter how you slice it, this is really Really positive news for the New York Jets offense because truth is our wide receiver core is still thin. Yes, we brought in Mike Williams. Yes, we have Garrett Wilson. Yes, we used a third round pick on Malachi Corley. But behind that little group and with Williams health, we're really looking at Lazard. You know, uh, Malik Taylor, we found out this week is out for the year. So we have Gibson, you got Brownlee, you got McCutcheon, you have Brandon Smith, you got, what's the guy's name? Uh, oh man, I can't believe I'm forgetting. Tyree, Ty, um, ah, can't believe I'm forgetting. But anyway, no matter how you look at it that way, it's a little bit thin, a little bit thin. So having Mike Williams out there, fully healthy is an exciting thing. Let me ask you. Do you think he's going to, re- this is good, but do you think he's going to make it to week one? Do you think that that's when we see him on the field for the New York Jets? And if you we do see him there, do you think he's going to actually be a real player or is just going to kind of fold in a little bit, have a couple snaps, be a decoy, that kind of thing? They don't want to risk it. They're not going to throw him the ball in traffic or anything like that. Let me know what you think in the comments. I want to talk to you. With that all said, have a great day and go Jets!